Well, tonight, the preliminary list of candidates for the city election is done. Yeah, and while the Shelby County Election Commission continues to confirm each candidate has fulfilled the requirements, our own Otis Sanford talks about the races to watch in his point of view. Now that the filing deadline for the city election has come and gone, the races can now begin in earnest. Candidates have until next week to withdraw. But as it stands now, there are very few compelling races for city council seats, with the possible exception of District 1. You might recall that was the seat that created so much discord at the end of 2018 when the council tried to appoint someone to the seat. It got so nasty that some members started boycotting meetings. Well, in the upcoming election, District 1 appointee Sherman Greer will face Rhonda Logan. She got strong support from the Frazier community for the appointment, but most council members refused to consider her because one of her main backers was disgraced former councilman Ricky Pete. Beyond that, all eyes will be on the mayor's race and its numerous candidates. Attention will be focused, however, on the big three, Jim Strickland, former Mayor Willie Harrington, and County Commissioner Tammy Sawyer. Harrington appeared before the news media Thursday to slam the planned changes to Tom Lee Park and to signal that he is still running a viable campaign. But Strickland's built-in advantage is obvious. It's called the power of the incumbency. The onus will be on both Harrington and Sawyer to make a compelling case to dump Strickland. It won't be easy, and they have 76 days to do it. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.